Hi folks and welcome to more of our trading stuff. In this video I'm going to go through the changes in the latest version 9 of our grid bot. So if you haven't watched the original video then please pause this now and go away and watch it. I'll put a link at the top of the screen if you're watching on your computer and there'll also be a link in the comments below. So what's changed? Let's just have a look at the parameters and we'll start at the top. We now have an instance number that you can set. So you can have two copies of the bot running on the same currency pair at the same time. What I will say before I go any further is that we're going to make lots of small, shorter videos to cover some of these parameter settings in detail because the way they all interact with each other does get quite complicated. The next thing that we have changed is our safety net option and this will allow you to set a value in pounds that you want a maximum loss to be on any one group of trades. As I say we will be making a separate video to explain and demonstrate this. Coming to the bottom of the screen here we have our right to excel option. This is a simple yes no option and the bot will generate a spreadsheet while you're trading or running a backtest of all of the trades and it will automatically create a pivot table for you. And what I'll do a bit further on in this video is show you what it creates. You do have the option to change your file name, but it does have a default name in there for you. The other changes that we've made are all on the control panel. So let's have a look at this now. So I'll click on the play button to start my bot running. The first thing that you'll see is at the top of this screen here, it tells me I'm on a live account. Just so that there is no mistake when you're running it as to whether you're on a live or a demo account. Moving on down, we have our show break even line and show profit line as tick boxes, and I'll show those to you in a moment. And we've got a group profit in pips. You'll also notice we've got these other buttons here, start trading and hide. And you might wonder why the bot hasn't already taken a trade, seeing the market seems to be moving quite a bit at the moment. That's because we have the option now to start and pause trading while the bot's running. So I'll click on the start trading button and you should see the bot take a trade. So there you are, we're straight into a sell trade. What this button does it will allow you now, if you chose to, to pause trading. So the bot would continue to manage your open trades, but it won't take any new trades in either direction. We also have this hide button, because once you have all of this set the way that you want it to, you might not want to change it, so we can hide that to tidy up your screen a little bit. And you can move this panel to wherever you want it to be on the screen. So we will show this and I will tick these boxes here to show the break even line and show the profit line. You don't have to click apply changes when you change those, it will display them on screen immediately. And now let's look at the, the changing the group profit. So you can see I've got my profit lines on screen at the moment and I'm going to change this to two and click apply changes and as you can see those profit lines have moved a lot closer to the break even lines on the screen so I can set those back to four and click on apply changes again and you see them move further away and if you choose to you can just tick, click on these ticks to take the lines off of the screen hopefully that'll make it easier to work with when you're actually running this bot what I'm going to do now is stop this bot and run a back test so that we can generate a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to click on the stop bot button. So 
So I'll go to my back testing and I'm just going to change a couple of the parameters here. So I'm going to make sure that I set my right Excel to yes, otherwise it won't generate the spreadsheet. And for this back test, I am actually going to set the trade with trend to yes. And I'm going to set my safety net to yes as well. I'm going to check my back testing settings. So I'm going to start with a starting capital of 1,000. My commission is set to 30 per million, which is correct with the broker I'm working with. And the tick data is set here. I'm going to set my back testing period to be from the 1st of December. And we will go right up to yesterday. And I'll click on play to run this back test. So I'll now just wait for the data to load. So while that's loading, let's just have a look at a summary of the changes in this version. As I said, we now have the instance number that you can choose. So you can run multiple copies of the bot on the same currency. The group profit option is now on the control panel. So you can change that while you're trading. The profit and break even lines can be turned on and off on the control panel. We have our safety net option. And as I said, we will cover these in separate videos. And we've got the option to create an Excel spreadsheet from our trading or our back test data. So our back test has finished. So let's go and find our spreadsheet. This will be in our C Trader folder and that's normally found in your My Documents folder. So you can see here we have our spreadsheet. So I'll open that up in Excel. At the top, we've got the bot name, the instrument and the time frame, And then we've got a list of all of the trades that the bot's taken. One new thing we've added here in the comment is the group. So you can see how all your trades were grouped together. Then if we look at the pivot table tab, we've got all of our trades organized both in the days of the week and also the hours of the day. So along the bottom here, we can see the total for each day of the week during our test period. And down here we can see for each hour of the day during our test period. So you can use this to pick out the sweet spots that you might want to run this bot, both of, by time of day and day of week. And we found it really useful for helping to analyse our results. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As I keep saying, we will be making other shorter videos to go through specific points of this bot and explain them in more detail. If you have found this useful, then click on the like button. And if you want to see all of our videos as they come out, then click on the subscribe button. If you've got any questions or queries, then add them in the comments below. But if you're a member of our trading group, then please use our, our WhatsApp group for all of the, the support questions and queries that you might have. Anyway, thank you for watching.